show of ice lady, man. Yes, sir. And, and he's about to show out, right? Yeah. Representing. Man, he better knock this dude out about four rounds. About four rounds. And and Duke Reagan, Duke Reagan about to get a knockout too. Shout out mm. Duke Reagan, Troy Isley, man. Card crazy. Mm. Just, just, you know, I know you like talking about the, the other guys, you know, and a lot of the up and comings and all the people that you've been on. What makes Duke and Troy so different than a lot of these other guys that come in? They're Olympians. Mm. They got all the they got every every tournament I done been to internationally, they was with me. They got the same experience I got. You feel what I'm saying? And uh y'all y'all gonna see it in the fight. I feel like y'all been seeing it anyways. Though. But we got crazy fights. Fighters like Xander, like Shushu, like Jahad Tucker that haven't been to the Olympics and they still outstanding. But I just feel like when it comes to skill and determination, the experience, when they fight in that ring, you can see like Duke and Troy is on a different level. And we've seen already you're on a different level when it came to your last fight. I know, and I know there's some postponements and things like that. Yeah. You've been very positive throughout all of this. Yeah. I know we're excited to see you back in the ring. Just how, you know, the transition of just waiting. Postponed. What was that like, you know, just having to just be patient? Uh, well, the worst postponement I had was the postponement of the Olympics. Mm -hmm. So, shit, anything after that, it was nothing. Like, okay, yeah, I got sick, so it's time for me just to get better. Put boxing aside, put everything else aside. Keep showing your physical body needs to get better for you just to live life. You feel what I'm saying? So I just put everything aside and just got better. And um, I'm better, and it's a process to where I got to keep doing things so I can stay better and keep getting better. And, uh... Top rank helping me out with that. They flew me out to Vegas so I could go to UFC gym, train, and work with the top notch people that I can work with. And um, top rank making sure I'm right, man. So September 23rd, I'm definitely gonna be there in attendance, fighting. Mm. Expect another hell of a performance. I'm fighting somebody with 30 fights, 25 and five. Already? Already? They moved me like crazy. So yeah, it's gonna be a hell of an event September 23rd. Yeah. And then I just also have to ask, are you scaring the boys out of your division? Are they kind of? I've seen some tweets, you know. I told y'all them boys been knowing me, so they probably already had the back of their head. Okay, he's showing out the Olympics. He to knock niggas out in the Olympics. He a different level. Two years, I'ma move up. I feel like, man, they not. I feel like honestly, they're not worried about me. But they do have in the back of their head, like this nigga is a killer. With one of them, Ryan Garcia, I can just ask. Nah, I feel like when I see Ryan in the ring, cause I don't do no lying. When I see Ryan in the ring, he looks big. Like he don't look like no one does not no more. Like he's feeling out. Like he's feeling out. So he he probably really is a real 140. I feel like can probably make 35 still. He's just waiting at 38 with some shorts on. So I really feel like out of all of them that moved up, Ryan is really the real 140. Mm -hmm. But he gets a pass. Yeah, but I mean, all of them been at 35 for all these years, so they all get a pass. Time for them to move on, go up. I don't got no problem with that. I'm still, just like T.O. make 138, I make 138 every fight, so if I'm at 35 and he's at 40, I can go to 40 and fight T.O. Ain't gonna be nothing, so these guys still in my reach and shit, I ain't worried about, you know, keep business, they gonna be business. How, how far are those fights from you, uh, Shit, I see me being top 10 next year, man, for real. Uh, I'm fighting somebody with 30 fights, my next fight in an eight rounder, so, like, I'm gonna be top 10 next year, for sure. So, if we talk about fighting them guys, like, if a, if a belt is available, I'm not gonna duck the belt. You feel me? So, shit, if I gotta fight one of them guys, that's what it's gonna be. When talking about that, you faced Ryan, you said right in the amateurs, and, uh, did you face Devin in the amateurs? I never faced Ryan or Devin or Tia Fimo. They was older than me. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they you spar with those guys? Uh, I sparred Tia Fimo. Never sparred Ryan and Devin, though. How was the sparring with uh, Tia? It was, it was actually great sparring, man. I was 19 years old. We sparred in top rank gym out here. It was actually like real good work. It was solid work for real. Uh, it was just like one of the times where I'm in Vegas and Tia was getting ready for a fight. And they hit Tia up like, yo, we out here. And he was like, yeah, pull up. And shit, we got the work in. It was good work. What, what fight was that? Oh, uh, I think it's a Nakatani fight. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'd be good. So you, you got your help with that one? Yeah, it was definitely like a tiny fight for sure. For sure. Yeah. Uh, 
but nah, it's too late in our careers now. Like, we too elite right now. Oh, uh, yeah, you feel me? Cam Bosch is trying to call me out for to spar him. They was trying to fly me out and everything, but I told Cam Bosch, no, like, I probably got probably got fuck you up one day, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect, Cam Bosch. But, uh, <laughs> nah, I don't need to be sparring these guys no more. Like, I'm damn near on their level in terms of going 12 rounds and 10 rounds. Like, I done got all the experience in the world, went to the Olympics and back. I don't need to be, I don't, I don't need that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I am who I am. The businessman man continue to be the business man. I'm not talking is, about is, isn't that like a good opportunity though for experience? I mean, obviously these guys are... I mean, definitely, but I don't want to sharp his iron if I got to fight the motherfucker. It's, it's stupid. Right. I'm hustling backwards. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not but gonna you're going to get better as well. Yeah. I mean, not gonna but I'm not going to help my opponent get better neither. Right. I'm going to get right. better right. doing my own thing. Right. Just like he's going to get better to do his own thing. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta get